Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make an annual planner in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Click and just draw out a text box, it doesn't matter what size it is. Then with your cursor inside, if your cursor isn't inside, just deselect, reselect and double click and your cursor will be inside. Go to insert, table, click on the drop down, select one row and six columns. And then I'm going to select the whole table by clicking at the top left square. Go to layout and then in height, change the height to one centimeter. And then with that selected, I'm going to go up to center alignment here. And then I'm going to leave this top row free and then select the rest of the rows. And we're going to make these lines in between slightly lighter. So just there to use as a guiding writing line. Select them, go to table design, go over to pen color and select a light gray. Then go to borders and select inside borders. And if I deselect everything, you can see the inside borders are slightly lighter. Then to get rid of this outline, I'm going to select it, go to shape format, go to this outline tool here, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then I'm just going to reduce the size of this little table so that we can line three of them across the page, reduce the size of the table outside. Then I'm going to move this over, make sure it's selected, hold down your alter option key, click and drag and there you'll select another one. Alternatively select it, press Command or Control C, deselect it, Command or Control V, and that will copy another one. Now I'm just going to line them up roughly where I want them. Don't worry about whether they're aligned to the middle of the page, just the gap in between. If you want them more spaced out, then space them out. You do have to be mindful of your printer because some are borderless, some aren't. So I'm going to move mine slightly inwards. Now we need to select them all. So select one, hold down your command or control key and select the other two. Then go to shape format. Then go to this alignment tool, click on the drop down. And the first thing we're going to do is distribute them equally horizontally. So if you click on that one, they'll be equally spaced, but we need to make sure they're aligned to the top. So go up to the alignment tool and select align to top. Once all they're perfectly aligned, go to the group tool, click on the drop down and select group. So now all these are one element. Then all we need to do is simply copy and paste these boxes. Do that one more time. There we go. And we're just going to align these boxes as well. So select them all by holding down that command or control key. Go back up to align. This time we're going to distribute them vertically so they're equally spaced. And again, let's align to the left. You can do align to right or the middle. Once they're all perfectly aligned, go to group and select group. Now they're all one group. We can make sure they're perfectly aligned to the page. I'm just going to go to align and align them to the center. Then I'm going to use my arrow keys to move them up or down, depending on where I want them to lie on my page. But I'm just going to leave a small gap at the top here to leave the title. But before I do that, we need to enter in all of the months for the year. So we need to go back up to group, select ungroup, and then ungroup one more time. And now they're all individual boxes. So deselect and then reselect this box. Click again inside, so my cursor's there, and then you can begin to type. Once you finish that, you can go ahead and select them all again so that you can group them together. This means that they won't move individually. Go to group and select group. There we go. So to insert the title, if I click at the top here, you can see my cursor moves to here because this is the headers and footers. So we need to go back up to insert, go to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Click and drag out a text box, then insert your text.
Then select the text, go to the Home tab and customize it with these tools here. I'm going to increase mine using the Increase Font Size tool. I'm going to change the font to Heli Vector. I'm going to center it. You can underline it if you want to. So I'm going to increase that one more time. And then deselect it, reselect the box so that we can go to Shape Format and get rid of that outline. Go to this tool here, No Outline. And then along to Align and select Align to Center. So once you're done, you can just save this as a Word document or you can save it as a PDF or a template. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.